Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use synth to record a podcast. This might be the simplest podcasting synth system out there, even easier than my favorite Anchor.fm. So let's go ahead and get started and see how it works. Simply sign into your account. Accounts are free. And go in and click the plus symbol in the upper right hand corner and start recording. You'll see my recording options are listed down here at the bottom. My microphone's on. Let's hit record. So in this episode, we're going to talk about current events. In our current events class lately, we've been talking about our upcoming gubernatorial election here in Maine and how having four candidates running can cause someone to win without winning a majority. So you'll see here, I recorded for 21.86 seconds out of a possible 256 seconds per episode. If I wanted to record more, I can hit the record button again and continue to record until I've used up my time. Or I'll hit done. And we can turn on automatic transcription. And that will automatically transcribe my podcast. And when someone plays it back on the gosynth.com website, they'll see all of my words as well as listening to the podcast. And I'll just leave it with my default Richard's thoughts about current events. I'll just change that and say it's a sample recording. And as you can see here, you can post in a link to a re related resource if you would like. And now we can share this publicly for anyone to find in the explore section of GoSynth, or you can leave it as a private podcast episode. I'll hit explore and share it. Now this will appear in the explore section. There's my latest recording. Now all of my recordings appear in my library and you'll see some of my earlier episodes here where I have some comments on them. Let's go ahead and look at this one. And there's a comment that someone wrote in. Now the thread option is if somebody wanted to reply with their own audio recording, they could do so by clicking the create thread and recording themselves as a reply. Now let's play this back to see how the transcription part works. Well, synth seems to me like it might be a voice only version now you'll see in that transcription, it said Cynthia instead of synth. So let's edit. And we'll edit the transcription. And now save it. And now when we play it back. And of voice thread. Well, synth seems to me like it might be a voice. And so that's how you can record your podcast and publish your transcript. And finally, if you want to share this with other people outside of the synth platform, simply click on your recording that you want to share. In the upper right hand corner, you have the option to get an embed code, a direct link, or you can tweet it out. So that's a short overview of Synth, a very easy way to start a podcast. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.